is diseases now what is this diseases how these diseases are divided into parts all these kind of things you will see in this chapter so let's start now so there are many kind of diseases you have seen in your daily life some like illness some are like fever and anemia cancer all these kind of name you have listen already so what scientists have done on a very basic level they have divided this diseases into mainly two parts so what are the two parts this diseases is divided into mainly two parts first part is communicable disease first part is communicable disease and second part is non communicable disease this much here what is the actual meaning of this communicable disease its meaning is sampark means in contact so whenever we are coming in contact this disease communicable disease is passed on from one person to another person let us understand this one with an example suppose i got an information that this covid 19 disease is spreading when we are touching to someone i got this information and i feel that this information is very necessary to give to another person also so what i did when i meet my friends my relatives i told them also this covid 19 is spreading like this whenever we are touching or we are going near to someone like this this covid 19 is spreading so i gave this information to my four friends now that four friends are going and meeting to their four friends and to them also they are giving information so like this what is happening my information is spreading and a day will come a time will come when this information reach was spread over whole country that there is a disease which is spread by touching that is covid 19 so whole country come to know that there is a disease which is spreading like this so this thing or this process is known as communication means you are sending an information from your side to another people and they are sending to another you are passing on the information similarly communication this communicable disease we can define as those diseases which are passed on from one person to another person are known as communicable disease again i am repeating the definition those diseases which are passed on from one person to another person is known as communicable disease so this is about communicable disease now how this communicable disease is spread from one person to another person what is the responsible thing how it is spreading this question comes to your mind so the thing which is responsible to spread the disease is germs these germs are responsible to spread the 
communicable disease from one person to another person. Now what these germs are doing? These germs are, suppose you are the infected person from COVID-19. Means the germs of this COVID-19 is present on your body or inside your body. Whenever you are coming into contact with another person, this germ is germs is jumping from your body to their body. If you are touching, suppose this spread, uh, this uh, COVID-19 is spreading by touching or by coughing. So whenever if you are touching to another person, means that germ automatically transfer to that people. So this germ is transferring from your body to a healthy people. Then that healthy people will also become sick. So what is the responsible thing for this communicable disease? That is germs. Means this germs pass on from a diseased person to a healthy person and spread the disease. Now let us see some example of this communicable diseases. The most common example nowadays is that from COVID-19. Most common example nowadays that is COVID-19. And after that flu. This flu is also spreading with the help of germs from one person to another person. Then Ebola virus, we have also listened the word. Ebola virus, Hanta virus. So these are the disease which is spread with the help of germs. This germs is the responsible part to spread this communicable disease. Now come to the second one, non-communicable disease. Now this uh, non-communicable will be just opposite of this communicable. So how it can be opposite? Let us see those diseases which are not passing on from one person to another person. So that diseases are known as non-communicable disease. Now the question comes that if it is not passing then how it is happening to the person? What is the reason behind it? If someone sick person is not touching and it, it is not passing. So how these diseases are happening? Let us see that also this non-communicable disease are mainly based on your habits. That how is your habits? How, which kind of food you are eating? How you are living, your living style. All these things are responsible for this non-communicable disease. Means, suppose you can't control this communicable disease as you can't see the germs. But you can control or you can prevent yourself from getting disease from this non-communicable disease. So there are mainly four reasons of this non-communicable disease. First reason is Lack of healthy diet. First reason is lack of healthy diet. Second reason. Bad habit. Third reason.
so there may be lack of blood and that disease is anemia so who is responsible for this disease of course you because you are not eating red vegetables so you can protect yourself being infected from that disease how by eating red vegetables so lack of healthy diet your diet should, should be healthy now the question comes that what are the things which you need to include in your plate that also we will discuss on later on in this chapter only it will tell you that what you have to eat and what you have to include in your daily breakfast lunch and dinner all the things are there in your chapter next bad habits what are the bad habits which are responsible for diseases where bad habits are like you are getting up uh, late in the morning starting from the day then getting up late in the morning and then not doing exercise this is also bad habit and continuously watching mobile and tv bad habit not taking lunch dinner breakfast on time very bad habit so these all your habits bad habits are responsible for various diseases suppose take a daily common common bad habit which is nowadays we are too much suppose you are sitting and watching tv and mobile for hours and hours daily today it will not happen to you anything but slowly 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 what will happen some more many times when we are watching mobile our neck is like this down side so here this our head is having some weight suppose 1.5 kg our head is having its weight so means in your neck you are taking this 1.5 kg and hanging this 1.5 kg on your neck how by running your neck like so what will happen after your ear pain will start between the joint of neck and this backbone and this pain will be too much and you will not find out the reason because you have done in your previous year this habit so this is bad habit which can lead you various diseases and it can harm you your body in future so better don't do too much mobile now come to second uh, so next third one environment our environment how our environment is responsible for this so many doctors and scientists are saying us to get up early in the morning why they are saying to get up early in the morning there is the reason both scientific scientific reason also and spiritual reason also that you have to get get up early in the morning before 5 pm or at 5 or 5 to 6 that is the best time to get up early what happens at that time everything is recharging and reopening and restarting we are also restarting the day everyone is restarting the day that time the environment is too quiet and in that environment we can do yoga which will be beneficial to us if in the morning we are getting up and we started watching mobile only so what will happen there is a bad impact on our mind if we go around and watch the environment it will be good for our mind also and in this way we can keep healthy to our mind so see good things when you are getting up in the morning environment should be peaceful that time when you are getting up in the morning Now come to next four or pollution. Now this pollution is too 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 much responsible for diseases. How? Now this as we are we are whatever we need we are inventing that thing and making our work easier. If I ask you the definition of what is the definition of machine? A simple definition of machine you have also seen in previous video also that a machine is the thing which makes our work easier of course that is only for that only we are constructing the machine okay it is making our work easier but it leads to pollution also suppose vehicle only you see two two wheels two wheelers three wheelers four wheelers this all okay they are taking us from one way to another way one place to another place okay it is easy but in Uh, in uh, reverse of that they are giving us the polluted air that is carbon dioxide and so so this 
कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड आर द पॉल्यूशन विच कैन लीड टू अवर लंग्स डिजीज टू अवर हार्ट डिजीज सो दिस पॉल्यूशन इज ऑल्सो रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर सम डिजीज दिस मच ओनली अबाउट कम्युनिकेबल एंड नॉन कम्युनिकेबल आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ कम्युनिकेबल डिजीज एंड नॉन कम्युनिकेबल डिजीज Thank you for watching the video and if you wish to see this video in Hindi English mixed language then i am giving the link in the description box you can go down inside and check in the description box the link for the Hindi language thank you for watching the video